I was trying to stay disciplined and not um, add to my inventory because I have so much that I still need to get listed. But it was fun to get out. Hello YouTube friends and welcome back to another Renee Anita B thrifting adventure. This was the first time I was out thrifting in 2022. I was lucky enough to get invited by my sister to go up and visit my parents and we decided to take our mother out and go on a little thrifting adventure. So I've actually been trying to stay extremely disciplined. I haven't been thrifting for two months now. I just have too much inventory here to get listed yet, so I didn't want to keep adding to my death pile. But it was fun to get out. I was curious to see if there was any Christmas stuff left, and there still was. Um, so I found a few things at 50% off. I had not been to that thrift store since pre-pandemic, so it was almost exactly two years. At that time, it was changing ownership. It looked really empty when you walked in, but it's a very large store. It used to be a Pomida store. And in spite the fact that it looked really empty, there was a lot to look at. It was just really spread out throughout the store. So I'm going to show you the Christmas items that I picked up first. They were all 50% off. I found this really neat tree skirt. It's kind of like cruel embroidery on it. And that was marked really cheap to start with. So it was only marked $1.95 originally, and then it was half price. So I got that for a dollar. I had seen this really pretty red tablecloth first on a hanger. It feels like linen. So I don't know if this is vintage or not. There's no type of tag on it. It's about card table size, so I'm thinking it probably is vintage. Probably from the 60s or 70s. It just has a really nice design on it, a nice Christmas design. It's kind of a raised, like an embossed, flocked type effect on it. It was marked $3.99. And when I first saw it, I thought it was really pretty, but I thought that was a little pricey for it. And I didn't know that their Christmas stuff was 50% off. And then I finally f saw a really small sign on one of the racks that said it was 50% off. So I'm just going to leave that in a heap. So I was okay with paying $2 for that. I don't usually pick up Thai beanies, but this one was just in really good shape, and because it was a snowman, I thought it was maybe more desirable. It was marked $1.59 and then half price. I know that elves always sell well for me. This one happens to just be a Homco one, probably from Home Interiors. It was marked $0.89 cents and then half price of that. I picked up one little Hallmark ornament just because it was a secret pal one and it's one that you don't see very often. He was marked 50 cents, so he was half price. I think this is probably vintage as well. It's a Tweety stocking and just what it's made out of this kind of vinyl plastic that's on there. I think that is vintage if I remember correctly from maybe the early 80s and it was 99 cents and then half price. I think the last Christmas thing I got was this cute little hardcover book. It's called A Fisherman's Night Before Christmas. It has a really cute little story in it. When we were checking out, there were a couple things in the display case right at the checkout counter. I saw this really pretty little cloisonne dish. It was only 50 cents. I also saw this Canon camera in there. I love Canon cameras. That's what I'm using to film this currently. This is probably an older model, but I think it's an upgrade of what I currently have because mine is only 10 megapixels and this one's actually 12.1. So a nice digital camera. I know the lady said the only thing missing from it was the charging cord. And I was going to look online to see if I could find one. But when I opened it up, I see that it only takes batteries anyway. So it doesn't need a charging cord. It probably needs a cord to connect it to a computer if you want to download the pictures. If you don't use the SD card in it. But I'm familiar with Canon cameras. And I just wanted to have a backup in case mine breaks. Because I do drop it every once in a while. I paid $20 for this one. So I figured if it if it works and I decide that I don't like it or don't want to use it, I should be able to still get my money back if I sell it on eBay. I 
found these two Watkins collector coffee cups. They are from 1992. They must have been from a series at that time, and they were only 49 cents each. I'll group those together and sell them as a pair. I know that elephants seem to be highly collectible. I couldn't pass by this pretty vase that had these nice elephants on it. It's only $2.99. There is a signature on it, but I'm not exactly sure what it says. I thought it was too pretty to pass up. It has like some iridescent in it and then kind of the frosted look to it. I found this little collectible guy. He's just a little cherished teddies. His name is Roy and it says, I'm your country cowboy. This one is 1998. Actually came with the original box and the certificate of authenticity inside. Still wrapped in, in plastic, but kind of bent up. I think I paid $1.79 for him. That's what's marked on this box. I know I took a different sticker off, so I'm not sure. It was either $1.79 or it was $0.89. Cents. I found this nice small flat iron curling iron. I got this mainly for personal use, $1.99. It's a Conair. Nice and clean. I don't pick up Barbies real often because I still have a bunch here to sell, but when I find Ken dolls, I will pick them up if they're the older ones. This one is dated 1991, and he even had this nice pair of pants on. Um, he's in really good condition, and he was only $1. I saw that this was a transformer. It was 79 cents. It's by Hasbro. It's got one of those little robot transformer guys in there. Just thought that was a good price. They had a bunch of Dora party supplies there. I'm thinking that a store probably cleared out. I only got two of each one because I thought I would lot these four pieces together. They were 49 cents each. So two packages of the invitations and then two packages of the little party gift bags. I probably spent the most time looking through all these bags of toys that they had. They were marked all different prices. This bag happened to be marked only 75 cents, and I saw two things in here that I thought maybe would have some value. I could see that there was a Tasmanian devil, like a Christmas ornament, and then there was a little Lala Loopsie doll. I couldn't really see the condition of them. And once I opened that up, she does have quite a bit of paint scratched off of her. But I do have some other Lala Loopsie things to sell, so I might just lot them together. Here's the little Taz ornament. And there was also a little Cabbage Patch doll in here. I think I have some other ones like this I might just lot together as well. The rest of the things were mostly McDonald's stuff. Some of it was just junk in here. But there were a couple of superhero dolls. So for 75 cents, I think that was worth it. I'm not sure if you can resell these on eBay or not, so if you know, please drop it in the comments below. This is a Microsoft Office Publisher 2003. It does actually have the product key in there with it and the disc. Again, I'm not sure if, I, if I'm able to resell this or not. It was $1.99. And I have no idea if anybody can key that in or if someone has originally purchased this and used that product key if it becomes void after that. So if you know the answer to that, I would love it if you would drop it in the comments below. Their books were marked super cheap. All their paperbacks were 50 cents each or their hardcovers were a dollar each. So I picked up a Harry Potter book. And it's not something I pick up very often, but for 50 cents I couldn't pass it by. I have some others. I'll lot it together with the cell. And then I picked up this one mainly because I have some of her other ones to sell as well, and I'll probably just group them together. Great condition on the books. I picked up a little Clifford sticker and storybook that was only 49 cents. A few of the stickers have been used, but otherwise, on this page they've been used, but otherwise the rest of them have not. 
So for that reason, I thought it was worth the 49 cents. I found this large print color by number book. I might just be using this for personal use. If not, I'll probably just use it as a gift. It's still brand new. It was $1.99. But I'd like to try watercolor painting this year, and I thought this might be a, a fun book to practice in. I found two puzzles. These wooden tray puzzles usually sell quite well, especially Disney ones. I paid $1.50 for the set of two of these. I didn't really want the one in the back, but I knew that this Disney wooden tray puzzle would sell. And then there was a horse one. They had several bins of stuffed animal toys. I found this little St. Louis Cardinals bear. This is a little vintage guy from 1993. He was $1. This cute little M&M bear. He has this little denim jacket on that has a little M&M embroidered logo on it. He didn't have a price on, so I asked at the checkout, and she said, how about 49 cents? And I was fine with that. I recognized this guy because I had found one like this this past summer. I had never seen these before. This is called Puppy Surprise, and I paid $1.69 for this guy. Normally, inside of here, there should be like three little puppies. Um, this one is missing the little puppies, but because it is vintage and was in such good condition, I thought $1.69 was worth it. My mom picked this sweater out for me. This was $3.99, and I think most of their clothes was like 25% off. Some of it was 50% off. So I think this one was 25% off. So it's just a pretty metallic blue sweater. And then I thought this was too good to pass by. I only looked through the men's department when I was there because I've said in previous videos that I prefer to sell men's clothes. It moves quicker for me, and it's a lot less to look through. So this is by Travel Smith. I think I've seen that logo in clothes before, but the quality of this shirt, it just felt like quality. It is a men's 2XL, and it's a nylon and spandex shirt. Wonderful condition. I didn't see any stains on it. It was marked $4.99. I'll have to look at my receipt and see what I actually got charged for that. I think it was 25% off. That was my first thrift haul of 2022. I spent a total of $53. So I'm anxious to get this stuff listed in my eBay store and see what kind of profit I can make. If you like this video, please go down below and click that little thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Of course, I can't find the tag now because I totally folded it inside. Come on, Renee. Where is it? Wow. It has a really cute little story with the with the night before Christmas theme. Yeah, never mind. I don't need to add that in there. So this will probably sell, too. I can make it Blah, 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 blah. I feel like I'm talking. It's so thirsty when I'm rattling off a bunch of stuff here. <laughs> and then I forget to smile. I get so serious. I always pinch my boob when I do that part. <laughs> Nothing worse than a pinched boob. Thanks so much for watching. As always, from my heart to yours, share love, not hate. Have a wonderful day.